What's going on guys? So today I'm out here at Camper Clinic RV in Rockport, Texas, and we are gonna take a look at this beautiful Montana fifth wheel. And this has some really special features when it comes to the interior, and you're not gonna wanna miss this video. So hang tight, I'll be right back. All right guys, so this is the Montana 3931 FB, full-time rated four seasons fifth wheel. Full-time rated simply means it's built to be lived in full-time and they warranty it for that. Before we get too much further, let's take a look at the numbers on this unit. So this has a gross vehicle weight rating of 16,500 pounds. It has an unloaded dry weight of 13,380 pounds, has a 3,060 pound cargo capacity, and it rides on 16 inch G-rated all steel tires. It's a massive, massive fifth wheel. It's got the road armor pin box up front Essentially the Rotaflex pin box, just a hair shorter, and I think they move the little wings out a little further so it still gives you the clearance you need. This has the level up, six point hydraulic leveling system. It has three slides, two slides on the back and then one slide up front here. Schwintech slide and rack and pinion slides back there. This does ride on an eight inch I-beam drop frame. And if you're wondering what a drop frame gives you, it gives you this enormous storage area up front. I mean, simply massive storage area. This storage area is actually bigger than some bunkhouses I've seen. It has a big inverter up here, so I'm imagining this is gonna have a residential refrigerator in it. And then here's your wet bay connections, as well as your power disconnect. And this is connected to your ground connection, so you don't have to worry about this getting wet. Plus it's a marine style power disconnect. Basically, when you turn that off, it disconnects power from your battery, so you don't get a parasitic draw also has a nice sewer hose storage down here they're not the only ones doing it but i sure appreciate when i see an rv that has that overall very beautiful from the outside i like how they put their auto leveling controls in its own little door here which is nice a little bit more convenient back here you're probably going to have your handles to release your black or gray tank yep right inside there this has saloon S637 G rated tires, very nice. Rack and pinion slide back here. And in between, this has the Road Armor suspension, which is really nice. This is actually the same suspension I did a video on. Uh, we installed it on the Chaparral that we had. You can also see it has the half inch thick shackle straps and the greasable wet bolts, which is very nice and very user friendly, which means you have the ability to service that without having to take it all apart. Again, love these Saloon S637 tires, and I'm glad to see the RV industry starting to recognize them more and putting them on their RVs. I like the nice skirting around it too. It has a good kind of neutral tone to it. Coming around back, all LED lighting back here, frameless windows all the way around, wired for a Furion wireless backup camera, and it has a ladder so you can get on the roof and do your roof maintenance there, which is essentially just cleaning it off. You know, you don't have to do a lot of things that you had to do in the past to these roofs, but you do need to clean it off. Two inch receiver here, and it does have your lighting plug here, so you have the ability to connect a trailer to this unit. It has a maximum trailer weight of 3,000 pounds and a maximum tongue weight of 300 pounds. So you could throw a nice utility trailer behind this if you're gonna haul motorcycles or something small. Just keep in mind, some states allow you to do that, some states don't. Looking under the slide here, rack and pinion slide system, 12 inch I-beam frame. Coming around, this has dual awnings, one awning for the slide here, and then you have another awning up front. This is gonna be the back of your furnace, back of your water heater. You have the Moride step above steps on this side. And again, this is the Montana 3931 FB. Let's take a look inside of this beautiful Montana. Now, right off the bat, you can probably tell what's to like about this interior. This is such a departure from many color schemes that you've seen in RVs. They've just done a really good job of not just mixing up contrasting tones, but doing it in a lighter way. So you have some dark areas here, then you have some lighter areas, and then they've introduced white. So you have this beautiful white tone around your refrigerator. You know, your cabinets here has this nice dark kind of burnt wood tone around here. Don't specifically know what they call it, but it looks beautiful. Plenty of room for a coffee pot. I am a huge fan of coffee stations. Glad this one doesn't disappoint. Has a residential Samsung refrigerator. 
You know, I know some people have problems with these. But for the most part, I think they tend to work pretty well. Somebody gave a trick in a video one point where you remove this back portion here and you change out the, the de-icing feature with something that's a little larger and it keeps ice from building up in the unit. So it might be a video worth looking up if you have problems with your Samsung refrigerator. But panning through here, you can see this is just a beautiful, beautiful fifth wheel. I love it when they put these little accents here on the island seeing a lot of manufacturers doing that now. I do wish that the sink had been rotated this way and they give you more flat countertop surface there. But, you know, a lot of manufacturers are doing that and a lot of manufacturers aren't doing that. I prefer to have the sink offset. Over here, you can see your cooktop and your oven. This is the upgraded Furion system. Again, sealed burners here, which is also really nice. Just in case you spill something here, it's collected in this little tray as opposed to going down into the actual stove itself. Nice drawers there. You have some drawers and cabinets here as well. This is probably gonna be for your trash can. And then you have a good size pantry here. A lot of space in there. There's one thing Keystone does very well. It's they give you good size pantries. A lot of manufacturers do, but Keystone does as well has a nice convection microwave as well. And you're starting to see some manufacturers not put those in if they put an oven. But what's nice about this unit is they still give you an oven, but then they also give you a convection microwave. Very nice wide panoramic style fireplace. My opinion though, I would rather see storage in a smaller fireplace than such a large fireplace. But you know, I'd love your comments on that. I bring that up in a lot of videos, how they're getting these really, really wide fireplaces. And there's traditionally a lot of space back there. And I'd like to see kind of a cabinet with a smaller fireplace than these really wide ones. What do you think about that? Leave a comment below, please. Has a 50 inch TV plus a lot of storage on top of it. You have more storage around here. I love the window treatments. The valances look absolutely beautiful in this fifth wheel. Good size sofa here at the end. You have 110 power and USB ports there as well. I do wish they would have kind of moved this vent. I understand why they put heat registers in the floor. They do it because your ducting runs straight up the center. And if you move them to furniture or other things like that, you create these weird angles and you just don't get the heat flow. So they try to put them in the most effective, efficient way possible. The problem is, is they kind of turn out to be eyesores. I would prefer where maybe they put this at the very end of the run sideways or in an area where it's just not so in the middle of the floor. You know, maybe even closer to the island right here, just so you're not stepping on it. And then back here, again, more cabinets up top. I love the contrasting ceiling panels up here. The fact that they don't just use the same wall panels that you would traditionally see, you know, used on the wall. They break it up a little bit. Love this theater seating. This is absolutely gorgeous. They give you power connections here as well with USB ports. This can flip up and it turns into just a huge love seat area. This is just one of the best theater style seatings I've seen in a fifth wheel. This is just really nice and I'm glad Keystone puts it in their units. Over here you have your dinette table. Very nice. This has two chairs but you get two additional chairs that are probably in storage up front. You have a little power port here, so if you want to use this as a desk, you can do that, which is also very nice. And you can raise or lower the height of this, which is very cool. Tons of storage up here. I mean, if you're wanting a fifth wheel with a lot of storage, they give you a lot of it. There's cabinets everywhere up here. You pretty much have a spot for everything. Shoot, if you have a Keurig, you could throw it inside of here and even use it because they gave you power in there. So, if you want to put a washer and dryer in this unit, you would actually put it up here in the kitchen. Which, in reality, isn't that bad of a spot, simply because it gives you all this room to work on it. So you can put a washer and dryer stackable unit up here if you prefer, versus having it in the bedroom area. And this is very reminiscent of DRV and several other manufacturers who don't put the actual washer and dryer in the bedroom area. They put it in the kitchen, or they give you the option to have it in the kitchen in certain floor plans. A lot of space in these cabinets as well for plates, drinks, cups, whatever you might need to throw in here. Overall, an absolutely beautiful, beautiful kitchen and living area. Okay, let's step back this way and see what we got going on. So check this out. 
you have this enormous half bath, just a very, very good size half bath in the hallway area of this unit. And it's a lot bigger than most half baths that I've seen. But one thing that they've done, which is really cool, is they've given you storage inside of the half bath. So you have this great storage in here for whatever you might need. And it really gives you some extra space for other stuff without having to cram it inside of the main bathroom or put it inside of the kitchen. Very, very thoughtfully laid out half bath. Has porcelain foot flush toilet. Nice basin for the sink. You can see they actually had to offset the sink here so it's on the side, or at least the faucet is, it's on the side as opposed to the back, and that's just for best utilization of space. But a very cool half bathroom in this unit. And you're gonna have a closet here, and then you'll have your control panels up here. And I do like it how they trim off the control bay and they give you a cabinet to close over it. Some manufacturers don't. I always like it when they do though. Stepping up into the front of this unit, very, very nice bedroom area. And you can see it has your return air ducts for your Whisper Quiet air conditioning system. You have additional storage right here, and then you have more storage right here. You have more storage in the bathroom area, and then you have a full dresser right here, which is really nice, with six drawers. I like how they give you both 110 and USB connection ports on the sides here as well. Which is very nice. So in terms of Montana, this unit is as long as their longest fifth wheels. So they've crammed a lot of stuff in here considering it's not a mid bunk or a bunkhouse and they've just really repurposed the space for a very large couples style full-time RV. Coming back here, you can see all the storage, plenty of storage in here. And stepping back into this enormous bathroom. One piece shower stall, you have a nice sitting area right here with a window. And then beneath it down here, you have your porcelain foot flush toilet. Coming around, you have lots of closet space in this unit. And then under here, that's kind of interesting. You have a interesting picture frame, but that's an access port for something. They just made it look like a picture frame. On this side, you have your dual vanities plus storage above that. Beautiful, beautiful area up here. And then you have your space back here. You have place for shoes on that side, place for shoes on this side. Just a tremendous amount of room in this fifth wheel. But I'd love to know your opinion on this unit. Please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.